here we go. All right, it is January 10th, 2022, and we're going into the news. Just did a video about Metis and what you can do to get over to that chain. So if you haven't checked it out, go to the video before this. Uh, we are on token metrics, and I'm looking at the weekly index for KuCoin. And we've got Chainlink, Harmony, Strong, Axia, and Chronotech. So I know Axia and Chronotech have been here for a while, and uh, Axia has been slowly going up and to the right. Chainlink, I know, has been uh, on the verge of a breakout, and it's been going um, up while the rest of the market's been going down. Harmony, I know, has a DeFi project, uh, Gaming Play, that's been really hot on their system, so they've been doing really well. And then Strong, I know someone was uh, real big into this, and it looks like it's going to be doing well. Uh, I went over to the Daily, and Strong and Chainlink were over there as well. So it looks like these are the only tokens that are good for this week. Um, looks like I'm guessing a lot of sideways action for the rest of it. Now, if we go into uh, Market Rebellion, you can see the charts are mainly down because everything's following Bitcoin. It dipped down below. It was uh, 39. I remember seeing it pretty low at like 39.4, but this is 39.7. Uh, Can't really get to the bottom of that chart. Uh, but right now it's pulled back up at 41355. And I think it's been following uh, the Dow, which dipped down earlier today, but is now coming back up. Now, if you follow AJ Monty over at Market Rebellion, he said he literally said that's what's going to happen with the Dow. It's going to go down. It's going to bounce back up, and then after that, it's going to be heading downward for a bigger fall, which is called an ABCD pattern. So you can Google that, or go to every Friday AJ Monty on Market Rebellion YouTube uh, does a video, and you can watch that, and he explains it to you. Uh, so it's been really bouncy. Uh, which is what Crown Crypto has been saying is going to happen, a lot of up and down. But right now, there's a bunch of uncertainty. We have, uh, actually, let's take a look at it. The open interest is pretty high. Let's see, I'll pull it right here. Uh, so you can see that in the last 24 hours, there's $333 million that's been liquidated over here on uh, Coinglass.com liquidation data. Uh, but the open interest has been above... 11 billion it is uh so it's, it was like 13 billion it's, it's been going down uh but if it's above 11 billion then no matter what uh whether someone's long or short um essentially what has to happen is people have to get out of the position and sell so that brings down more pressure so we are not out of the woods yet and um because of that i'm gonna go into the news and tell you what's going on so i went back to january 7th over on coin market cal because uh, it's been a while since we've gone on the news, um, but Curve and Con Convex Finance have been big because there have been DAOs that are trying to essentially crowdsource funding so that they can get into Curve and make money for the DAO. So um, if you watch Token Metrics at all over there, uh, Ian Bellina has been saying he thinks DAOs are the next big thing next year, which is great because I'm in Clima, uh, Ohm, Hector DAO, and... Yeah, there's one more in there, uh, but he thinks DAOs are going to be big, not only for, you know, making yields, but also tapping into people and finances and getting behind one specific idea. All right. So uh, Bitcoin mining stocks have as turbocharged thesis plays out just as the price of Bitcoin has steadily declined from the highs near 70 to 42. So to have the share price of the biggest crypto mining companies, but the decline of those mining stocks, which experts believe represent a kind of turbocharged proxy for the price of Bitcoin. Uh, so everything is kind of falling down right now. But that doesn't mean that the uh, the value of these companies are going down. So they're essentially undervalued at the moment. Uh, so here's another more down news, clear DAO. DeFi derivatives factory lists on KuCoin. So you're going to see more and more DAOs being created and people uh, or entities trying to get people into it uh, to essentially fund what they want to do. And again, uh, DAO is a decentralized autonomous organization. So it's created and uh, the direction of the DAO is dependent on the people in it. So the more you have tokens, the more you can vote and uh, it's decentralized in that manner. Uh, Serum, which is on Solana Community Foundation, raises 75 million in token sale from Tiger Global. Uh, the Incentive Ecosystem, Ecosystem Foundation, a community-led foundation of Project Serum has raised 75 million in new funding round. Uh, and I believe that is to um, the same thing that Metis is doing. They're raising or they've already raised money to incentivize developers to come over. And then Serum is a market maker over there. So I can see the APR is going up over there to incentivize people to come over to Solana. 
and uh, which doesn't surprise me because they have a lot of uh, VC investors over there, and they want to get people over. I forget the name of it, but the game where uh, you as a person uh, get to uh, do tasks or you, you essentially move on the metaverse and you can you know, take on a deed, um, but you basically... ICAP launches crypto ETPs. All right, so that's always good. Yeah, so it's an exchange trade product if you if that's if you need to use. Um, Aaron, I'll like you hear about Michael Saylor all the time, and then uh, El Salvador uh, buying the dip, buying more BTC. Uh, well, there's another Bitcoin miner that they're already farming it, <laughs> and they're they're buying more of it. Uh, so I'm assuming what they did, and uh, this is just a guess, I'm sure it's in the article, but they have BTC, and now they're taking a loan out from the money collateralized by that BTC and buying more BTC. So essentially, they're leveraging themselves. Okay, uh, so okay, so Pollen DeFi PLN will be the first Avalanche token to list on a Sundex. All right, I'm sorry, that's not big news right there. All right, I'm going to go through uh, Cryptozar Us real quick. Uh, but the biggest thing right here is that billionaire investor, Bill Miller, who's really respected in the uh, traditional finance community, uh, reveal the size of his Bitcoin holdings. And you can go to CryptoSaros and read this, but it's 50%. So it's not just Bitcoin. As a matter of fact, you read the article, this is Bitcoin and related products to Bitcoin, but essentially his exposure is 50%. So um, he's, this, is a, this is a real big deal. Uh, people that are in the traditional space see him as a leader and more people will follow, of course. Uh, so you have near protocol, Adam and Link 
showing strength while Bitcoin sweep the lows. And uh, this is, again, something that Crown Crypto has been calling out. It doesn't see Bitcoin really going up or down. It's kind of going sideways. And this is going to be a market of cryptos instead of the crypto market. So uh, it's important for you to stay on top of the information and also um, be involved with all the websites and the news stories that are coming out so you see where the narratives are. NIR is an interoperability and extremely fast and um, also a gaming protocol. Atom is interoperability. Link is interoperability. So this seems to be the narrative right now. So if nobody knows where to go to see where the next big thing is, Metis, then they're going to go with interoperability like um, Polkadot, which is, um, you know, I'm surprised it hasn't really been going up. They started to take off, but then it stopped. Uh, but moving on. All right. We've got three uh, top projects on Avalanche. Uh, you have to check out so you can click that and uh, i'm sure those are new up and comers uh stacks is on the the bitcoin protocol and it's it's built on the um the lightning network so it's super fast and it's bringing smart contracts to it so essentially it's making bitcoin more um more like ethereum but that's not really the right way to put it but it's making it uh more diverse uh, instead of just having it be a, a store of value. Um, and three of the hottest play to earn NFT games right now. Let's just click on that because I have been getting into play to earn and honestly, I haven't fit, I haven't found anything great right now. Uh, so we got Axie infinity, Neo Tokyo and Wolf games. And I'll go and tell you right now, none of these are really worth getting into because the high price or the price is too high to get into right now for me. So I wouldn't suggest anybody else that's listening to this do that. All right. So this is from the Paul Barron Network. If you haven't signed up, go over to paulbarronnetwork.com, click on Diamond Circle and sign up. It's free. He gives all kinds of great knowledge. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, so I highly suggest to watch that. Uh, they have a CPI, which is Crypto Power Index, and they essentially forecast when something's going up and they put it all right here for you. So uh, they're saying it's phantom approaching breakaway velocity. I think it is. The total value locked is huge compared to its value and compared to other chains. And this just goes through everything to move it all for you. All right. And this is essentially where they think it's going. All right. So they called all this. Okay. This was a forecast. They didn't put this out afterwards. They put it out here and then they, they targeted it. And you can see, yeah, that it gives a range and a gap and it's not perfect, but essentially it did call it out and it called it out down here as well. Every time you see this rating, that's when they projected. Okay. And this was the last projection. Uh, so they do think that it'll be com coming down a little bit here. Uh, but in a couple of weeks, they're going to do another analysis and they can show you exactly where it's going, but they right off the bat, it looks like it's heading up and to the right, which is what we like to see. All right. So let's see, we've got one more. Okay. Gala games, uh, it's, Gala games is going to hit real hard right now, but, uh, he did an in-depth analysis. He didn't do a projection, but this is all the things that are going on with Gala games. Gala games is a token and they have their own nodes. Unfortunately, it costs like $150,000 to run one. Uh, cause it's like 50 X by now. Yeah. Could have gotten one at 1200 kicking myself just a little bit on that one. Anyway. Uh, so it's its own chain and, uh, let's see, here we go. This breaks down what Gala games is. All right. Projects in the works. Uh, Mirandus currently one of the more popular games on Gala games platform, uh, is a role-playing game that focuses on giving players more control and ownership over the in-game items. Uh, so then you have the walking dead empires. So they got the rights to the walking dead, which is a kind of a big deal. Uh, legacy is a unique, unique take on simulation games. So it's like, if you remember Sims, uh, it's kind of like that. Uh, they're also launching the last expedition, which I think is cool. I love, um, outer space themes and, uh, the popularity of shooter games have driven the need for an FPS on the platform. This is where the last expedition comes into play. The game is developed to provide a survival like theme with the developer being certain affinity. Currently this project is awaiting a node vote from the users and town star. Uh, this is like any of those games where you're building up a farm or a town. Uh, but it's, it's more like cartoony is the best way to put it for me. Uh, one of the very first games to be added to the platform town star is a unique take on the process and allows people to enjoy the game directly in the browser. Uh, the game is currently in beta and the developers are constantly improving on its features. Uh, so you can imagine that, if you played a game and you spent hours and hours doing something with it and get nothing out of it, this is a game where you can actually earn something from it. All right. So I'm going to end it off of that. I don't have anything else. Yeah. All it is is it. All right. So I will see you guys on the next one.